Hey guys. Good morning, guys. Good morning. We actually got up really early today, 6 a.m., yes. with uh, one goal in mind to make it over to Fayal. We had some business to take care of there and visiting a few people. So we're planning to take the ferry over to Fayal with one of our followers, uh, Fleming. Uh, because he is interested in purchasing a house over there. So he invited us over because the owner doesn't speak English and uh, Carlos was going to translate for them. But they canceled the ferry because the waves are like waves you see in Hawaii. Yeah, these are huge. <laughs> but uh, we knew that it's been, t it's been pretty rainy the last couple of days. There's a storm Evelyn kind of passing through. We just thought the day would have been a bit better, but obviously it's not. And some of these waves are just they're crashing. They're crazy. Yeah. Like they're coming right over the yeah. wall. So aside from going over and probably doing a little bit of a day, you know, day in the life of us doing some things around Fayal, we were also going to do one video called Ferry, um, you know, taking the ferry over. A lot of people are asking about the transportation between islands. So we thought it would be good to do, a, you know, an 8, 10-minute video on the whole experience of taking the ferry, uh, in this case, from Madalena Pico to Orta Fayal. Uh, that's going to have to wait until the uh, sunnier more calm day yeah, because we're, today we're definitely not getting on the ferry yeah and riding over those waves <laughs> yeah and a quick side story before we let you go until um you'll see us back here though for the that ferry video um but uh i remember going to canada in january of 74 i guess it would be and we crossed here took four hours almost i remember i was nine years old and it was unbelievable the waves in the winter uh, probably more than these, I guess, but these are pretty big. I'm looking at them right now, and it's unbelievable. So we'll see you back. Maybe we'll leave you with some of the waves action yeah, of today. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Here's the terminal. So uh, Fleming's actually at the front there with his friend getting his money returned. <laughs> we're gonna. There's a little cafe that we're gonna go and sit and have a coffee. And but uh, you can see, like the wind is just crazy. This is the village of Madalena that we're in. And this is where you can check your luggage in if you need to. And this is where you line up to get onto the ferry. And then you would go out those doors there. But it's uh, quite simple to catch the ferry over. And the, uh, the ferry ticket is about uh, three euros each. Now, when you get your ticket, you have to show them your passport. Yeah, so pretty simple, guys. Anyways, I'm going to go for coffee because I need it. <laughs> So here's the little cafe, guys. Carlos is already uh, sitting at a table. And uh, it's really cute. Got really cute things here. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. We were going to do this video just showing you the transportation over the island hop over to Fayal, which we can't do today. So we're going to do some wave action. Wave action. We parked on the side of the road here and we just left the terminal. And there we can see some of those waves coming over the, the port there in Madalena was crazy and now we were going to take a drive over to another area here the barca where there's a cell of bars and a few other places but they even closed the road down across from us here because we're just on the side of the road yeah. doing this you can actually wow. feel it's, the wind it's crazy they do. pushing the car yeah and the waves are curling and curling and just hitting 
the coast. They're so close, almost like they're coming. They can come over it's to the street. It's pretty crazy. Uh, so as I'm looking out right now, it's like they're coming, coming, coming closer to the car. These are beautiful. Uh, if you're a major surfer, this is this would be gold, you know, to do it in. So hopefully you'll enjoy this video because we're just going to drive a little bit around and just show you uh, once in a while you get these waves. I mean, you get this. And if you love nature, you're going to love them. This is part of a storm called Evelyn that's going through the Atlantic. And this is part of that. So we did say it was going to intensify, but mostly on Friday and Saturday. Today's Sunday, April 10th. And it looks like this is the, the, the day that has the worst waves. So. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to go in here to the zone of Barca here just to get a closer look. Went too far, but let's check it out. see some debris here this is from the waves sometimes a bigger one comes and boom like that one along the coast uh, in Cemetery. Uh, the waves aren't uh, as bad here, but they are crashing up on the rocks. Still windy, but at least the sun's out now. So we've just driven about 20 minutes from where we were here. We're in South Catana, more in the southern part of the island. Uh, we were in the Madalena Barca area and you saw the waves, they were crazy high, powerful. Now here, just 15, 20 minutes away, as you can see behind me, not so much. Look at it, calm. It's like we're part of a bay here. But this is one area, they say this port here, this little port is one of the more comfortable ones they get, uh, because it's a bay, but you see here, Still windy, you can probably hear it on the muffler here, but calm. And this is pretty much when you go around the island, that's why they say sometimes you can be on one part of the island and be calm, and the next and the other side be a little bit more uh, powerful waves or even wind and so forth. But uh, yeah, the swells are still out there a little bit. You can see the white caps, but here it's nice and sunny, as you can see. Look. Rain is coming down now. We went from sunshine to rainfall. Now we're gonna go down and see if we can find some of the waterfalls to show you guys how the water comes down the mountains and into the ocean. Sorry guys, we couldn't find the waterfall. I don't know. So it's we're very narrow road here. 
driving back out of this really beautiful park. Out of sand, reaching for the ground. Holy, we made it back up. Hey, we're heading back towards Lodge, and Carlos just thought of a spot that we may be able to see the waterfall so we'll take you guys up so we're gonna head up we'll see if we can find it beyond gravel, beyond So this is our friends uh, Palmita and Mario's house and we had this in the video where we showed accommodations to stay in. And you can see Lodge down there. If you guys recall the last video, we were hiking up above Lodge, so you can see the hills up there. Well, still haven't found the waterfall, but definitely take a nice little tour around this village little town. And now we've hit the main road again. Did a kind of like a full circle. Yeah, you have to be really careful because people come flying around the corners here. So we made it back down here to close to Laj. Uh Yeah, well, there's some waterfalls, but I don't think there was enough rain to see them come down um, because you'd be able to see them along the coast. And it uh, looks like the creeks, uh, yesterday they were for sure because there's a lot more rain yesterday. Uh, today's probably the waves are higher, as you can see behind me here. Still some wave action by Lajes here, but not so much as the other side we were on earlier. Laj, we're out in the village right now. Uh, some nice looking waves, a little calmer than the other the other major waves. We're just gonna take another look down here, just uh, it's always nice um, forming waves close to that huge rock there. And uh, you know, for those who've never seen it, you might uh, find it interesting, so we'll see you down there.
I'm gonna send Carlos outside because it's too windy for me. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, from here you got a good vantage point here of the village and just the beautiful waves that are coming in here. This is where we usually go swimming. And just that blue, isn't that gorgeous? I actually feel like jumping in. So one final shot here before we sign out. And yeah, there it is. Rain's coming, more rain. Definitely a fall day here in Lush. So this comes to the end of our, I guess, wave It's a, our, day. the end of our stormy day. Yeah, it's stormy day. I mean, it started out as going to Fayal. That didn't happen, as you know. So we decided to just film. There's a lot of people that see the video for the first time and they can get an idea when there's uh, some wind, um, Sometimes you know, Sometimes you just rain. gotta go with the flow. We went with the flow of rain, wind, wave. What else did we have today? Sun, definitely sun. I mean, there's sun right now here behind us. So one side it's rainy, one side it's sunny. Um, but Four yeah. seasons in a day. Four seasons in a day. Actually, okay. yeah, because don't forget, we actually saw snow on Pico. Right. right? Uh, yes. So that's yes. what I'm saying. Four seasons in a day. Yeah. When we uh, were heading to Ma to Madalena to catch the ferry, we were looking around. We left around seven, and we l I looked up. It was quite a bit of snow up there. So we kind of knew that the weather, hmm, well, the odds were probably against us going taking the ferry over. And sure enough, um, but yeah, like. Um, you know, a lot of people like waves, and right. hopefully you guys watching this kind of appreciate the power of nature. So we are going to end our video here today, and we hope you like, subscribe, and comment, and uh, we'll see you on our next adventure. All right, see you on the next video. Ciao, guys.